Howdy folks, this is Kato here, or should I say Ba Weep, Grana Weep, Ninny Bong. And today I'm going to take a look at Transformers the Movie Studio Series 8609 Retgar. Now I ordered this from CMD Store, but he does seem to be showing up locally in Walmarts and I think some Targets, but absolutely Walmart. I've had plenty of friends picking him up from Walmart lately. So if you're in the market for one, check your Walmarts or check online like CMD Store or Entertainment Earth. I'm sure they'll all be hitting pretty soon. So before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're going to roll the intro and start looking at Studio Series 86 Transformers the Movie Retgar. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all my current subscribers that are helping me well on my way to that 4,000 subscriber goal by TFCon in October. And of course, a huge thank you to my channel members. You guys know that I appreciate you taking that extra step and becoming a channel member. You see their name scrolling here. And a massive thank you to my Beast Level channel members. Those are the ones that went that extra mile for that top tier. If you're interested in becoming a channel member, click that join button below. Unless you're on one of those evil Apple devices, click the join link in the description. Of course, follow me across social media on Facebook at Kato's Collection Reviews and Instagram at Kato's underscore collection. First things first, we'll take a look at the box, and this is the Studio Series packaging that we've come to know with the 86 line. You have a very cool image of Retgar here on the front. 8609 Studio Series Retgar, Transformers, the movie Transformers along the side there. Studio Series 8609 with Retgar artwork there, and on the back you've got alt mode, robot mode, 22 steps, the backdrop, and everything you need to see there. Uh, nothing really on the bottom, a little brief description there on the back as well. Inside the box, you get the backdrop, just like with all Studio Series bots. And this is the Junkion Dance Party. You can see the planet Junkion back there behind 86 Transformers base, uh, 8609 Studio Series. I don't use the backdrops, but it is a pretty good one. I guess the only real accessory you get is his weapon, which is his spinning axe. And it does spin really well. I mean, almost fidget spinner quality. Uh, I do wish this was a little longer, but... And it works. It's fine. And of course, you get the standard 86 series instructions. They fold out uh, gray, black, and red. They're pretty good. Um, it's a fairly easy transformation, so you can probably figure it out without these. I'll go through it here in the review, but you probably don't need me either. But watch anyway. And that leads us to Retgar himself right out of the box. And I'm going to tell you, first impressions, looking in that box and then getting him out, absolutely brilliant he feels good he's got a nice weight to him he feels really high quality he almost looks third party uh, it's it's very very good one of probably the best looking 86 series transformers the movie bots we've gotten one thing that is amazing for sure is that head sculpt you've got that nice mustache right there the goatee swooped to the side which is perfect for uh not getting in the way red paint or some reddish orange paint, red paint, and black for the eyes. The head sculpt is right on. I'm gonna put him to the side and throw up a image of Rekgar from the movie here on the right. And man, I think they nailed it. Going down the rest of the bot, you get of course his uh, laser boobies, uh, which actually are on a ball joint in here. So you can, I guess, point the nips around a bit. And that comes in handy in, in alt mode because you can angle those to be a bit more forward. The chest looks fantastic. I love going down to the waist here. I think that looks pretty spot on. I mean, they really did nail. So you got the brown crotch with the saddlebags. One thing is there's a lot of, not a lot, but there is some uh, empty spaces in here in the legs. I'm sure that someone like Go Better or Fire Tox or some uh, Larkin's Lair will make some filler kits for this. I think they look great. Uh, you can see the legs here with that orange paint here. I know my tweezers make people nervous. I got so many comments on my last video. Uh, from now on, I won't use tweezers. I'll use a giant steak knife and really freak you out. But orange paint here and uh, orange plastic and a little different color plastic here on the actual feet. Uh, spinning around, you got all these spikes here, which are great. They actually work um, 
well in putting the wheels on. Uh, it is a parts former, wreck car kind of always was, but you just slide the wheel on and put it right there. I guess technically those are accessories as well. Uh, coming around to the back, I love how the back, the gas tank with that gold and orange there, again, not a lot of un unused bits and pieces on here. He looks awesome. Uh, one thing to note, and I'll show in alt mode as well, he does have a peg slot right here, uh, insert pegging joke now, but it looks like uh, it's made so that once you get him in the alt mode, uh, you have a slot to actually peg him onto another bot. Hopefully we'll get another junkie on. If not, I'll probably pick up another copy of this just to leave in bike mode. For articulation, pretty standard stuff. The head will rotate a full 360. It's on a ball joint, so he will look up really far and even look down. Eh, it's more of a looking straight ahead. He doesn't really look down uh, because of the chin and everything in there. Uh, he does have waist rotation all the way around. And because of transformation, you have an ab crunch there. And it's it's pretty tight, but I mean, a good little shake and he can come loose there. Not too bad. The arms will rotate a full 360. Let me get the wheel off of here so I can talk about it better. They will rotate a full 360 around and the shoulder will go up about that far. I love this inside part that hides that hinge. I think that's brilliant. One negative about the articulation on this arm at least, it seems, let's see, let's see if I can make it do it. That's pretty tight, that's pretty tight. And then there's a joint, uh, like a ratchet almost spot right here. Once it goes past that, I mean, it's, it's pretty floppy on my copy, just on this arm. Uh, not a deal breaker, but as soon as the wheel goes on there, it can push down pretty easy. I also have a little bit of paint splatter right here on the arm. Doesn't really bother me. He's a junkie on. He kind of should be a little messy, but that's uh, that's okay on the arm. Uh, upper uh, swivel here at the upper bicep or near the shoulder, and just about 90 degrees of rotation at the arm, as well as swivel uh, at the wrist, nothing at the fingertips though. On the legs, so you can get this out of the way, it's actually uh, with the wheel on here, you get about right there, take that off and you can get that all the way up. So that's really good. Uh, you've got swivel at the upper thigh, up and back, and about 90 degrees of knee bend. You can actually go the other way for transformation. The ankle can go down pretty flat uh, again for transformation and they kind of cheated the ankle rocker i think it's kind of neat just this bottom half swivels and it works it works just fine for a quick size comparison in robot mode there he is with siege ultra magnus studio series 86 hot rod studio series 86 blur studio series 86 cup earthrise optimus prime and one of the only other uh, mainline versions of Rekgar I have, this was the Platinum Edition that came with uh, Scrap Heap and Hot Rod. Now let's get into transformation. The first thing you're going to do, if you haven't already, go ahead and take the wheels off because they're just going to get in the way and you'll pop those in there later. Raise the arms up straight ahead. Flip in the hands. Twist so that the spikes are facing the back. Open this all the way up here. You'll stretch that all the way out. Right inside here, you're gonna open this up on this hinge right here and then pull that out so that the front end is all the way open. Just go ahead and stretch out. This will all come all the way out here so everything is stretched all the way out. You're going to push this all the way in and get the head all the way inside and what that does or what that will give you is the back of the head becomes the instrument panel which I think is pretty clever and the head will hide just underneath the front of the bike with everything tucked up flush you can go ahead and bring the hands inward and there's a peg hole right there and a peg on what was his chest so you'll just tab that in there. And you may have to untab this again in a second when you get the wheel, but if you want, you can go ahead and pop 
either one of the wheels on. Rotate this inward and do the same on this side. Just peg that in right there and peg in the wheel to the side of the arm. Now here you're basically just going to take the leg, straighten out the toe as much as you can, bring the leg up, and you've got a slot there and a tab so that you can line all of this up and create the base of the bike. And you'll do the same thing on this side. Fold the leg inward, fold the toe down, and just line it up so that you can peg this right, right inside the toe right there take the wheel sandwich it inside here peg and peg just like that and i'll clean him up a little bit although he doesn't need a lot of cleaning up and we'll take a look at him in alt mode i think he looks brilliant in alt mode i think it, it absolutely you immediately look at this and go oh yeah that's red car from the movie i think they did a fantastic job the colors are awesome uh, they're a bit muted, just like he should be, except for that nice bright flame gold on the gas tank. Uh, every once in a while, the seat wants to droop, so just make sure you can stretch that out. I think the saddlebags look great. Again, that's for when the if you have another one of these, or hopefully a future version uh, of Scrap Heap or one of the other Junkie Hounds comes out, you can peg them right on there. I think the paint on the gas tank looks great. Uh, the let's get in here to the instrument panel there you can see that on the back of his head I think that's very well done the handlebars are somewhat soft plastic so you don't really have to worry about breaking those that that easily the engine I think looks awesome gray paint on the engine block there I think that looks great uh, the wheels the front wheel doesn't spin quite as freely as the back or whichever one wheel doesn't spin as well as the other the spikes on the front look great. Again, you know exactly who this is when you transform him. I think he looks awesome. If you want weapon storage, I mean, anywhere you see one of these pegs, you can drop that in there if you want. I'm a sucker for a good motorcycle bike, and uh, this fits that bill very, very well. Size comparison on most motorcycle bikes are fairly useless. Uh, they're not going to scale well with the other line, I, and that's fine. But here he is against uh, Siege Optimus Prime, just to give you an idea of size. And because I'm a sucker for a motorcycle bike, there he is beside Cycleon. One of my absolute favorite motorcycle bikes, this is the Unrustable Bastards uh, from Moss Toys. Love this thing, so much fun. To me, he is a junkie on Decepticon. There he is beside Scrap Heap from that same Platinum collection that Retgar came from earlier. And just for the heck of it, here he is with my favorite masterpiece scale Retgar, the KFC Toys uh, Crash Hog, I think they called it. Phenomenal bot. And in case you're curious, here's what he looks like with a six inch figure on him. This is the Punk Spider-Man. So overall, other than uh, Grimlock, this actually may be my favorite of the Studio Series 86 line. I think he looks damn near perfect for a mainline figure. I absolutely love his alt mode. I don't really have any complaints about him in alt mode. If I had to nitpick something, I guess it would be that he looks a bit hollow uh, in here. But man, you talk about nitpicking. That's nothing. Love the transformation, absolutely love how he looks, love the paint apps and colored plastic. No complaints in alt mode, really, at all. Despite having some empty spots here on the inner leg, and most noticeably when you're messing around with him is the open spot in the arm where the hand folds in, but I'm telling you, that is minor. Ab crunch, decent articulation all the way around, phenomenal head sculpt and body sculpt. The colors are brilliant. Transformation is a breeze and fun. Again, another nitpick is the weapon could be a bit longer, but I don't care enough to bring it up that much. I love, love, love this figure. Uh, my biggest gripe, again, is with the wheel on the arm. You can see it getting a little floppy right there, but it could just be my copy. And again doesn't really bother me he still holds it well enough 
uh, for me not to really care about. I love this figure. If you guys find it, absolutely pick it up. I can't really think of a reason not to. And who am I kidding? You wanted to anyway, so I'm not talking you into anything. Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys being here and checking out my reviews. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. Help me get to my 4,000 subscriber goal by TFCon in October. And uh, cross your fingers that TFCon still goes on. The other rejected cons are Sardo News by 82, Larkin's Lair, and Inu Tabi. You can find their links in the description below. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. And until next time, this is Kato signing out. Ba weep, grana, weep, nitty bong.